The Mandalorian Season 3 trailer came out a few days ago at Star Wars Celebration, and in this video, I'll be breaking it down. It starts off with some recaps of different scenes from Mando Season 1, 2, and also the Book of Boba Fett. And then we see Mando and Grogu land on what looks like to be Navarro in his new Nubian N1 Starfighter. With that, the music changes into a Mandalorian culture song, which indicates that this show will heavily focus on Mandalore and the different Mandalorian cults. It continues with the pair in a cave that could be Mando trying to become a Mandalorian again by going into the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. In the next shot, we see a Mandalorian ship, which helps support the idea of this being a show more focused on the Mandalorians in general. Which is a good thing, I think that the Mandalorians are one of the most interesting people and cultures in Star Wars, especially with what happened to them with the Empire and all. And then, in the next clip, we see Bo-Katan on the Mandalorian throne looking out the window. Followed by a clip of Mando coming out from the mines with the other Mandalorians there, and it seems like he will be joining Bo-Katan's clan and leading them with the Dark Saber. We then get a quick shot of the armor and Vizsla, and then Mando shaking hands with Grief Karga on Navarro. Mando then shows up to meet up with Bo-Katan, and she says to him, Your cult fractured our people. Where were you then? And I think this means that the Mandalorians that Mando was with, perhaps joined with Darth Maul when he took the Darksaber and the right to the throne. This would explain her saying that their cult fractured their people, and it would also explain the way the armor talks about Bo-Katan in the Book of Boba Fett. She says that she lost her way, meaning that she did not follow the real Mandalorian ruler, who at the time would have been Maul, as he won the Darksaber in combat against Pre Vizsla, the former ruler of the Darksaber. On the next clip, we see Mando and his N1 starfighter blowing up parts of a ship. In his ship, there is a droid and no Grogu, and with what happens later on in the trailer, Mando will end up giving Grogu to Pelimoto for her to take care of him, while Mando has to go sort some stuff out, probably with the Mandalorians, Grief Karga, and the Empire. We then see a Mandalorian Galdna approaching the ruins of the Mandalorian capital, Sundari, and then a bunch of Mandalorians jump off a ship and get into some sort of battles as we see them use their blasters inside a town. We then get a clip of Grogu with Bo-Katan, and she says to him, Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? Meaning that Grogu will be with Mando and with the other Mandalorians at some point in time. We see more Mandalorian action, and Mando jumping up to hit someone with his blaster. That person that he hits seems to be related to a gang composed of weak ways Trandoshans and other species. That gang tries to either collect a possible bounty on Mando or get after him for something, but that won't go their way, as we can see Mando getting ready to pull his gun out. We get to see a quick glance at Dr. Pershing walking with someone in an Imperial facility, showing that he'll be playing some sort of role in this season. The trailer then goes off to some space battle and then a small clip of Babu Frick from episode 9. We then get the clip of Mando giving Grogu to Pelimoto and her giving him the droid that is later in his starfighter. And that is it for the breakdown. There wasn't too much for it as it was only a teaser trailer, but the music and the rest of the content inside seemed good and I'm very excited for season 3 of The Mandalorian. If you guys are as well, make sure to subscribe as when that comes out, I'll be posting lots of videos on the episodes and stuff that happens in them that is interesting. Apart from that, leave a like and have a great day.